Time to make some ant bait. We have a lot of these guys, fire ants, all in our garden. Um, like a massive, insane amount. So we keep our berry containers here and we make a borax sugar solution that we dissolve in boiling water and soak up in the cotton balls. It's worked really well for us in years past. Um, so that's kind of like our go-to method now. And we put them in here because it's um, just another way to use the plastic and we can, they could get into it really easily through the bottom once they, once they locate it. We set them by the mounds. I have got that. I, I literally just pulled one out of here and plopped it right here and one has already stopped. Kind of likes what they see. Um, normally I don't leave it out like this because it'll dehydrate really quickly. But, um, you know, you have to come back and rehydrate them. More so in these containers than in the other ones we use. We get from the Dollar Tree. And we just drill little holes in the little tiny serving. Um, I think they're like tablespoon containers. or like four or five tablespoons. I don't know. But, yeah, look at that. He's already taken it in and is like, hey, wait a minute. And he sent out his little, whatever conversations he sends out to his little homies. And now they're, they're actively going after it. They're gonna suck this in, take it back to their nest. Or mound, or I don't know what it's called when it's ants. It was almost like that other one that checked it out, went back to tell everyone because he went back that way. Very abruptly. Scouters. I don't know what they're called. They're telling each other, hey, there's, there's stuff right here. Hey, there's stuff right here. Boy has boots. Don't know why he's wearing flip flops. Oh, he's my son. That's why. He's working on his front garden area. He used to do this all by hand, but now we have a tiller, so makes for easy work. This is where he plants his flowers. He's our flower guy. Eli's doing his garden area. Those are his hollyhock he planted from seed last year that survived. This little tiller, man, it, it's, I'm pretty impressed with it. Isaac, get behind him and pull the cord backwards so he's not getting close to it. Get to the side, over to the side. Pull it from where his feet are, dude, where his feet are. Just keep it, keep, grab, the, grab the cord so it doesn't come close to him, okay? Yes. It's caught on a log. He's got it. Come on. Um.
prepping his garden area for his flowers, his front garden bed. Step back, you gotta be on top of it, man, on that cord. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere near it. Oh, that second pass got it really good. He's prepping his uh, flower bed area up front. Of it. These are his hollyhocks that he grew from seed last year. They survived that crazy blizzard, whatever the heck it was. We just got down here uh, freezing for days. Snowmageddon? Snowgeddon? I don't know what they call it. It wasn't, I mean, it was, it was bad for Texas, but um, I'm from the north, so. But this is just two passes with it. I mean, that, that did a really good job. We thought we gave this little guy enough clearance, but um, that's a comfrey root right there. Uh, that's a comfrey root right there from this little guy. He uh, got caught up in the tiller path, but that's okay because we're going to break that off. And comfrey is extremely resilient. Um, all the little pieces that got cut up from that stem right there that are somewhere over here are just going to regenerate. Um, nine times out of ten, they're going to regenerate. But... Comfrey is, I just, I love this little, this little guy.